And welcome back. We'll get this. 69% of adults from 35 to 44 have lost one permanent tooth. And by the age of 74, more than a quarter of adults have lost all of their per permanent teeth. That sounds like a lot. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, and for some, implants are an option. And Dr. Todd Pienkos is here to talk about potential solutions and what they're doing at Dental Associates. Welcome, doctor. Yeah, good morning. Thank you very much for having me. Glad you could be here. So tell us about some of the dental implants. Dental implants are basically a tooth root that takes the place of a tooth that is missing. It supplies that foundation for a dental prosthesis to sit down upon, either a crown or a bridge or a denture or some other type of prosthesis. Mm -hmm. we, were at, we were talking earlier about if you tell people if they have bad breath, you have to deal with people's mouths and their breath all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you tell your patients if they have bad breath? I typically don't because uh, I don't want them to feel uncomfortable sitting in the chair. Okay. But uh, it does happen quite frequently. What's the difference between a regular dentist and a prosthodontist? A prosthodontist, like myself, is somebody who's gone through four years of dental school, uh, but they have an extra three years of training outside of that to focus on replacing what's missing, basically doing crowns and bridges, uh, partials, full dentures, and the utilization of implants. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's some new technology when it comes to implants, correct? Mm -hmm. Some that are longer lasting and better for the bone in the mouth versus some of the other things you just mentioned, like bridges and, right? Absolutely. Uh, dental implants have actually been around for quite some time. The modern dental implant has been around since the 50s. However, up to the 1980s, uh, we've come light years ahead of what that original implant was. So these implants are uh, far superior. They help maintain the bone. Basically, an uh, implant is made out of titanium, which is very biocompatible. It means the body loves it. Mm. The bone wants to hang around that implant. And uh, when a person loses a tooth, as most people know, the bone resorbs away or atrophies. And because that implant is made out of titanium, that bone wants to hang around it. And mm. that helps maintain the support of the bone and facial structures and uh, surrounding dentition. Yeah, I'm glad that you mentioned the facial structure because a lot of times when you lose permanent teeth as an adult, you can have that kind of sunken or, or sullen look here that happens just because of the loss of bone or teeth supporting the frame of, of your mouth. All on four is a term that we've heard before as a popular implant style. That's something you do as well. Absolutely. At Dental Associates, we've uh, begun doing this uh, procedure that is a great advantage for people who are missing teeth or have a failing dentition. So the all-in-four procedure is where we can place four implants in either the top or bottom arch or the jaws and allow a permanent prosthesis to be affixed to that So uh, you don't take it in and out? The patient does not take it in and out. The dentist or prosthodontist like myself can remove it in case of something that goes wrong, but uh, it's really beneficial for the patient. The patients love it because it is something that they do not remove. Mm -hmm. And what type of patient is really a good candidate for the all in four procedure? Any patient that is uh, edentulous or without teeth. So you made that comment that by 74, 26% of the population is missing all of their teeth. Great candidates for the all in four. People who have periodontal disease or gum disease who are losing their teeth because of mobility and bone loss, they are a great candidate as well and also due to decay. Uh, decay can run rampant in people's mouths, especially as we get older with medications. So these are patients that are prime candidates for this all-in-four procedure. And what's the kind of maintenance on something like that? If you don't take them out yourself, do you have to go in to have it cleaned or checked or updated? This is the great thing about the all-in-four prosthetic. It is a uh, device that is permanently in the mouth, but the patients take care of it like they would anything else such as uh, with brushing and flossing and uh, That's a beautiful. water pick. And we're seeing a before and after mm -hmm. right here. Is this someone who's had the all on four? Yes, it is. Uh, this patient uh, came in, she, has a, uh, she runs and owns a salon and she has a lot of interaction with uh, her customers. Mm -hmm. And she had a failing dentition due to periodontal disease. She had a lot of bone loss and mobility and she just did not like her smile. Uh, so she came into our office and requested this procedure and it really, does wonders for her. Her uh, most of all, her confidence is extremely high mm -hmm. as a result of this. Not to mention better function and the aesthetics. Yeah, well, and it looks so natural and it, it's beautiful and, and truly giving the gift of a smile. I can imagine is something that's very fulfilling for you. So this is one of the main reasons why I went into <laughs> dentistry is because I get really jazzed mm -hmm. when I can 
have a patient come in and restore that function, aesthetics, but that confidence is what really Right, I'm sure you see the people going. who never smile with their, you know, showing their teeth in a mm -hmm. photograph and now that they can. It's this so is true. something I hear quite frequently. Oh, I don't smile very nice. And once we do something like this, you can't stop them from smiling. It's fantastic. Right. I love it. I want to make sure everybody has your website so they can contact right. Dental Associates. To find a location near you, go to dentalassociates.com. That's also where you can find Dr. Todd Piancos. Thanks for being here, doctor. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thanks. it.